Hey guys, it's Liz and welcome back to another video. So today's one is going to be a spring cleaning video and also just some things that I need to clean in my house because it was pretty messy. So right now I'm going to be sweeping up my entryway and I'm also going to be decluttering my shoe closet. This has been a problem area in my house for some time now. So I'm going to be going through all the shoes here and most of these shoes don't even fit so a lot of them are going to be donated. I'm just putting it in this bag and then going to put it in my car to donate for later. And I'm also putting away a lot of our like winter boots and fall boots. I can't believe I haven't done this in the longest time so I really needed to get this done because now we're bringing out our sandals and just regular tennis shoes. So as you guys can see, it looks so much better now. I'm just sweeping it up and that is about it. Okay, so now I'm just heading upstairs so I can start working on the kitchen. And as you guys can tell, it's not that bad, but I have been doing some shopping, so I kind of just need to put things away. And I'm also going to be going around um, my pantry and also like the counters because there's a lot of recyclables that I just need to put in a bag so we can take it to the recycling bin. So since I'm already doing this, I decided to clear out my mail. There's a lot of like random junk that we need to go through and half of this mail I apparently didn't even need so I kind of just been sticking it all in here. So I went to Target recently and I saw this wreath. I thought it would look really cute on my kitchen, like above um, the microwave. So I'm gonna be taking it out and sticking it on top of my cabinet. I don't know, for some reason I like the look of like wreaths on your kitchen and just makes it look more expensive and luxurious. So I'm really vibing with this whole situation right here, Love. clearly. <laughs> Okay, so this is another thing I wanted to do while I was spring cleaning. I want to clean up like the edges of the windows. As you guys can tell, it gets very dusty. Just want to wipe it down. And I'm also just giving the blinds a quick wipe down. I kind of did this recently, so I kind of just did it like lazy and I didn't really focus too much on that. I just wanted to do like the ledges all around the windows.
And now it is time to just pick up the floor. I want to like clear up the floor so that way I could mop later. Haven't mopped in a while, so I really want to get that done. And I also decided to kick off the kids out of the couch because I want to dust it and I'm also going to be using my couch as like a stepping stool for all the other blinds in my living room area. Okay, so now that the windows are all dusted, I want to start wiping down the table that the kids are using right now. It's pretty messy, but you guys can't really see it. So I just wanted to put them with the placemats on it so they don't get the table even more messy. And I'm also going to be like picking up anything that I see on the floor because I'm going to be sweeping everywhere. As you guys can see, it's sweep way too hard. So now I'm just vacuuming underneath my couch and I'm going to be putting all the cushions back on the couch. I just like to do this every single time I clean. I mean, sometimes I don't vacuum it. Sometimes I just take off the cushions and like fluff them up. But fluffing up the couch is a must. It changes like the way my couch looks. It's so simple, but it makes the biggest change and it makes everything look more presentable. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to be doing before I start mopping is dusting my furniture. I just use some end dust with a microfiber cloth and just give it a good wipe down. I'm going to be doing my media stand and I get a lot of questions asking where I got this from. So it is from Living Spaces and it's by the Element Collection. So what that means is that it's handmade and not all of them are gonna look identical. They're gonna look similar, but some are gonna look a little bit different than the others. But yeah, guys, it is from Living Spaces. And I also get a lot of questions where my dining room table's from. That is from Ikea. The chairs are from All Modern. And my coffee table is from West Elm. Couch is from Living Spaces. Just thought I'd throw it in there. Cause I know a lot of you guys are curious where I got those from. And I'm also gonna try to leave some links down below for you guys as well.
finally the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> I was so excited to mop throughout this. Like I just recently got this mop. I don't know if you guys seen me like carrying around that box earlier, but this was inside that box. Yeah, so anyways, the reason why I wanted to pick up this type of mop, because I have this shark pocket mop steamer, which I love. I love that mop, but sometimes it could be like a hassle to like, you know, plug it in and then like, you know, the pads and everything. And I also feel like it doesn't 100% like clean the floors. I mean, it does a good job at it, but I feel like I want like something a little bit more heavy duty sometimes when I really want to go in and like scrub my floors down. So I really did enjoy this one. It's really affordable. I got this one at Target. I believe they have it at Walmart. Uh, they probably have it on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link to the exact one in the description box. Let me open up your dream. So now I'm going to be winding down and making myself a hot cup of coffee. So I'm taking a break because I got tired from all of that work I was doing. Um, but I'm just going to be drinking this as I'm folding all of the laundry that I need to fold. So here it is guys, let's do it. So my older kids made a mess, so they're going to be having fun cleaning that up. I'm going to be putting away all the clothes I was folding downstairs.
Okay, so now I'm in Ethan's bathroom. I'm gonna start doing the mirrors first and then the sinks. So for bathrooms, I can admit I do use some heavy duty products, but that is just because I feel like all the germs should just be like dead. I don't wanna like just know what if, you know? So that's why I kinda just use like the more heavy duty products, especially on like the toilet area and also the sink. So I actually haven't cleaned out their bathtub in a while. I usually don't use such heavy duty products there, but since I haven't washed it in a while, I wanted to go ahead and use that. And I'm just rinsing it out with some water. And I also have this really cool, it's like a giant magic eraser, but for the bathroom area. So that was really nice because it was helping with the scrubbing at the end. So now I'm gonna be putting vacuum powder everywhere. I love doing this. It just makes the house smell so much better. And I just, I don't know, I, I don't do this all the time, but I love doing it because it makes everything feel so much more fresh. And that is basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And there's also gonna be one last video I'm gonna be doing for spring cleaning. So I hope you guys are excited about that one. Um, I'm so excited to do that. So definitely look out for one last spring cleaning with me. But of course, I'm going to be making other cleaning videos. Don't you worry. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.